Welcome to this episode of YouTube where a lot of people wonder how do the wolves wear down their toenails and certainly as we get warmer weather and the ground starts to thaw you see a lot more digging. Axel and Grayson's feet don't quite sit the same way as Rika's so they have a little bit longer toenail but certainly Rika's keeping herself uh, well trimmed uh, in, in digging up whatever she's trying to find. Uh, we do see the wolves uh, as we were losing snow starting to lie up in the woods a little bit more to get in some of that bare earth. Uh, we also hearing some crows that have come back. So we thought spring was in the air until the last couple of days we started to see uh, winter again, but doesn't preclude us from doing our spring projects. And one of them was removal of a red pine tree that had died and this tree was tall enough that if it would have fallen, it would have fallen towards the fences and possibly hit a, a webcam. So we had uh, Austin Van Scoy from Dutchman Tree Service come in and he did a demonstration felling, uh, climbing that tree. He's actually up in that tree on a windy, snowy day, um, dropping it in segments so that, uh, that it, it comes down safely. And you can see him as he's climbing uh, back down the tree here uh, and uh, doing those segment cuts. So this was part of the Vermilion Community College Fire Management class. Austin uh, did come in and do a demonstration for the students. Um, the students were on site to be able to clean up uh, the mess that um, came from that dead tree. It's very important for obviously windstorm issues where we might have a tree that falls and could injure a wolf, could take down a fence, could damage a camera. But also we do know that last year we had a significant fire season. So having any dead wood within the enclosure um, is more of a risk for fires. I saw a lot of bodies working inside the enclosure in a very short period of time. If you're watching the webcams from about 8.30 to about 11, we try to make sure get as much work as done as possible to reduce the amount of time uh, that the wolves are in holding. So you see that tree comes down and you see a little bit of a path uh, that was made with the logs. Uh, that just is a standard practice for us to be able to give the uh, wolves a little bit stimuli. Um, we are grateful to instructor Ryan Miller uh, who brought his class over from Vermilion. Ryan is also a, a handler in the wolf care program here. He started with us last year and uh, the wolves are familiar with him. So that really helps having uh, all of this chaos uh, to have a familiar voice uh, uh, be part of it. And Rika was at the fence greeting Ryan as he was responsible for the safety of his students, for the learning objectives of his students, as well as for the removal of the trees. And uh, we do have a lot of dead wood that came out as well as some some tops and you'll see here the students are putting them right on sleds uh, we're grateful to mary ringenberg who uh, has helped us kind of improve uh, this procedure uh, right now the students are dragging them on sleds mary has graciously funded an atv for us we have on order uh, an atv to be able to help us get this wood out of the enclosure this is an ongoing uh, task for wolf care and we're grateful to the students uh, but we know that uh, it makes things easier uh, with tools and so here the students are not only dragging them out of the enclosure but all the way down to the burn pile that we'll be doing this weekend so Mary also uh, graciously funded our new medical pen which will have a little bit more tree work to do but this is what's left uh, this again a uh, fire risk within the enclosure so a lot of people say what you know where do you do, where do you put the wolves when you're doing projects like that well they're in the retirement and they're kind of watching uh, what's going on pretty curious and uh, doing quite well with the activity I want to point out Rika's very striking features as she is about to be ten and a half months old here but the most notable this week is her precaudal tail gland that passive gland at the base of her tail that's getting very very dark Keep checking out our webcam to see how the spring melt progresses. Thanks for watching.